Welcome. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, depending on when this comes out. Um, we're trialing something new. Dion's decided to give me my own segment within our, our little blossoming thing. So if people are going to send their messages and um, ask me for advice, I don't know why, but we're going to try it, see how it goes. Dion, you got some questions for me? Yes. So the first question is, um, dear fish... Recently, my ex of 10 years ago has got back into contact with me. I'm currently single and in my mid-40s. He wasn't that great of a partner and we were constantly off and on. Should I give it another go? She just answered her own question. She just answered her own question. 10 years, they broke up. He wasn't good in those 10 years. Why would you give him another go? That's self-sabotage. Why would you do that? No? No? a terrible idea why would you do don't go backwards to go forward that's awful don't do that tell her no stay with find somebody else so it's just a no it's just definite no that's not even a dilemma we need, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's a foregone conclusion why would you do that right you buy a car i love my car analogies you buy a car you don't particularly like the golf that you, you drive you drove the golf for 10 years you get rid of it you walk around for a bit, you see another golf, see a different colour, it's the same car. Why would you buy it? You wouldn't buy it again. You don't like it. No? No, fair point. Yeah, next. That's the, that was easy. <laughs> Make them hard. <laughs> Make me think. Okay. So the next one is, Dear Fish, I work with a lady who is 15 years my senior and I'm really attracted to cool. her. I messaged her to tell her how I feel and she was kind enough to let me down gently. Should I just take it on the chin or should I try again? What? Are these real? Yes. So the, she, so she's shot her shot. He? Oh, it's he. I thought it was two women. Okay, so he's shot his shot. Okay, shall we do it again? No, like he's shot his shot and she let him down nicely. So why would you do it again? Because he, clearly he's still... Why? Yeah, but if she's not interested, she's not interested. She told you, to see, this is what, see men sometimes, you see us. Sometimes we have to take no for no, innit? Yeah? You are, you've asked, she said no. She's, she's not even dissed you, she just said, you know, I'm not really on it. So just keep it moving. Why, and then you work with her, it's going to be mad awkward every time you go to work, you're going to try and stick it on her. Then HR get involved. <laughs> nah. Nah. Then you've got to explain to people how you got fired. There might be a lawsuit. There might be a lawsuit involved. You're labelled as that guy on on LinkedIn. It's long. Nah, let's not do that. Nah, there's there's hinge for that. No hinge. What's the other one? What's the other one? Yeah, Tinder. Tinder. All of that. Tell him to jump on that. Plenty of fish. There's literally plenty of fish in the sea for him. He's all right. Time to move on. But the thing is, obviously, he feels like. This is the potential love of his life. But it's not, because if it was, she would have said yes. <laughs> if she felt the same, she would have said yes. Yeah, but what happened to the art of pursuit? The, uh, all right, do you know what? There's, pursu- there's playing hard to get, right? Do you want to go for a drink? Oh, I don't do my hair. You know when it's, there's something there. There's some kind of chemistry that you're going to keep trying. It. Every time you try it, different approach, different approach, you get in. If your first attempt, she said no... Why would there be a second and a third? No? As a woman. Are you asking me now? I'm asking you now. As a woman, you've said no politely. You genuinely mean no. No, yeah, I always genuinely mean no. Right, so then I come back a second time. How are you going to feel? This guy's hardened. He's not listening to me. (laughs) But do you know what it is? I think, you know, like, once upon a time... When? When our parents were young. Possibly. Mm. But you know, but you know, you hear about the situations where the woman's like, I wasn't interested, and he just, you know. He was persistent. Persistent. And then, you know. Yeah, she, I, she genuinely found him attractive from the offset. She might have been in something. He might have just been coming out of something and might have been the right time. But if you, if she said no in no uncertain terms, then, dude, if, it's, if she's said no to the point where you've asked somebody to ask somebody else's opinion, you know the answer's no. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. But, what, but, I'm kind of garnering that the reason she said no was because of the age gap. Okay, well, maybe. So, fifteen years is a long time, still. You know. Years is a long so time. maybe he's thinking, well, like we get on so well, 
my age shouldn't be a factor then, should but it? It's a factor for her. You have to respect it. Sometimes men just need to accept when they're told no and just li- keep it. Sometimes there's no convincing. You can't, so, especially now as well, there's a very fine line between pursuing and being a pest. Yeah? They start with the same letter. <laughs> yeah? It's a very fine line between the two. In a workplace, do you know what I mean? There's factors. You don't want to be seen as the aggressive male. In, do you know what I mean? She's, it's long. It's long. It's long. Nah. Tell him no. So is that no? That's a definite no. It's a hard no. Okay. Okay, so the final one <coughs> is, uh, Dear Fish, I am a lady in my mid-30s. Um, I recently met a guy... And um, he's asked me to send him my bra and panty size. That's yeah. game. No, it's not. That's game. That unless, this, unless this ends horribly wrong, that's game. Go on. Um, I told him under on no certain terms would I send them. Okay. Because we've, we've not even had a date yet. Okay. Do you think I should go? These are all, these are all legitimate things. Do, do I think she should go on the date? Do you think she should still try and go on a date with him considering he asked her... For her bra and panties. So things. they haven't they haven't been intimate or nothing. No. Then it's not game. I take that back. Good. It's they haven't been on a date. No. So this is the this is the first date. They've lead literally up to. they've literally been speaking for a couple. How of did weeks. they meet? Do you know? Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! Then oh wow! Um. Because <laughs> that's weird now. It's not like that's a bit odd. That is odd. Is odd, is that it? is odd. Yeah. That is odd. That is odd. You can't just off the back of oh yeah, what's your nah? Because what she should have said is yeah, send it. You're never gonna see me in it though. Mm. Yeah, she should have sent it and got some some bits, a, a, bit a, a, a savage Fenty mm. outfit <laughs> for somebody else, yeah. for more deserving. Because that is odd. <laughs> that's strange. That's very strange. That's 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 weird. That's weird. That's weird. It's different if. Yeah, that's weird. That's like buying someone a vibrator you just met. Mm-hmm. No, that is odd. Yeah, that is that, that is, is odd. Weird, that is yeah. odd. There's ba- there's lines. There's ba- again. It comes sometimes. We need to know there's boundaries in it. There's boundaries. There's lines. You don't just. You can have banter and stuff with people that you're in things with, and you can get away. You can push the envelope a bit and be like, "Yeah, what's your bra size? What's this? What's that?" But if you just met and you haven't even been out on a date, jump the gun, mate. So is that a no? That's a hard no. That might be the hardest no of the three. <laughs> That's a definite hard no. And if you're watching this, don't do that anymore. That's wild. That is what you'll end up on the register somewhere. That's mad. Don't do that. Don't do that. Can't we just? I'm just being just normal and running like with some game and just being make them laugh, take them out, try a thing. You get whoa, no, try again. You might get true if you don't, you do if you don't, you know what I mean? You just might end up with a friend, you might end up with something more. This is wild. Does anyone here, are you surprised by any of the things or the questions that you've heard considering we're all at our big age? Nah. The bra one is, that, was, that is a lot. The that bra is one threw you off? Okay. Wait, do, do you know the exact age? I'm just going to go backwards. Do you know the exact age of the person? Um, yeah. So it's like 25 and 40. He's 25 and she's 40? Yeah. Yeah, that's why then. No wonder she don't want to get. She don't want to mess about. I thought you were going to say like 30 and 45. I was just like, well, that's a bit. No, definitely 20. 25. 25. And 25 and 40. 42. No, 40. 25 and 40. That's wild still. She's clearly not in her cougar face. She would have gone for that. What? I mean, it's not strange for the guy. That's the, like, everyone fantasizes about an older woman, isn't it? And maybe that's why she's saying no. We've gone right way back to the second one. Maybe that's why she's saying no. Mm. She don't want to be anyone's fantasy. Because at 40, at 40, you're not really in of that, innit? Especially in the workplace. You could go out and find that elsewhere. You don't have to. Yeah, especially in the workplace, I'd say. Yeah. Use the use the toilet where you. Do you know what I mean? That's wild. But the bra thing. 
Mm-mm. There's easier ways. Buy, buy, nah. I don't know. David, I'm gonna repeat what he said. He wanted to know what kind of vibe was she giving to make him There's no vibe, there's no okay. vibe. There's no that, vibe. No, come with him. There must have been a build up to this as well. I wanted to hear more onto that, because even that I mean the thing is I only get like a short No, there's no vibe. Do you know what I mean? So there's, 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 no, there's no kind there's of no like vibe. there's no context. Yeah, there's huh? no like detail. That's not the first time. Oh, oh, man are weird. No. But enough man do not because said some kind of weird. But hear me out. This is the reason why at first when I heard it, I was I was thinking what's his angle on it, innit? Because you know how certain guys like they do the whole, oh, I'll buy you a bag, innit? So I was, mm-hmm. I'll buy you a, a, a Prada bag or something. So they'll yeah. spend that kind of money on you initially. So I was wondering, is he doing this back to front? Like, is he trying to get uh, one of those expensive um. lingerie things? Is, is he asked her for a reason? Like, am I sending something to your house? Not even for me. This might even be for yourself, but... It, the context to it, because if he's just asking out of the blue, then it just sounds weird. It's, that's weird. Not, that's well, weird yeah, it was, it was out of the blue. You're hustling backwards, man. Yeah. That's weird. Because even, even, I'm not sending something to your house for you. For you? So you've got it in your collection now. <laughs> I've, I've picked something out that I like, that I would like to see you in. Yeah? I send it to you thinking this is a big plate. It's not. I send it to you. You look at it, it's, like, oh, it's nice. He's got nice taste. I'm going to wear that with Marvin. Put it in the drawer. <laughs> no, but it's, the risk is always there, but I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to actively play a part in that scenario. I might buy it, you might... I mean, if I buy you something and you wear it for some, then that's, the game is the game. But, yeah. Not laundry. A hoodie? A cap, a bag, shoes. Might wear some socks. The Sucks. outer layer, the the underwear, nah, nah, and we haven't been, nah. Come on, I haven't even had a chance to get you out of the underwear that you've bought yourself, <laughs> let alone <laughs> underwear that I've bought you. No, that's wild. Let's not do this. I think it's too weird anyway. That's weird, yeah, it's because weird. You, you said they just met, literally a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, so they met a couple of weeks. They've been speaking for a couple of weeks, haven't been on a date. It's mad, and we just sexualized things. Yeah, you understand. So. um because how off-putting is that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, f- so for some people, it might not be, that might be their thing. No, but for some people. But then you get a vibe. Risk was, reward. Yeah. Risk reward. You understand? The reward ain't big enough just no, yet. No, it's not. When you can easily... She was going to go on a date, right? Yeah, so Before you played a long that. game. So, yeah. I, so I'm here. Long game. Yeah, I'm here. Let me just... You know what I mean? I could have found out your bra size that yeah. night yeah. if yeah. I played my cards right. Mm. You That's understand? Yeah, see? you got to have faith in your own game. Yeah, and I mean, don't just... And, and not only just that, like me personally... Me personally, you might not even be worth the gift after I spend like, oh. yeah. No, I swear to you, it's cold, it's cold. It's a cold, it's a cold world. It's a cold world. The games yeah. are the games. Yeah. Cold world. If I spend, like, we go out for a cheeky bit of food and I don't even like the way you clap in your mouth. I don't. Go on. No, but I'm. Go on. She go on the date. She shouldn't go on the date. No, she shouldn't. No, but I'm, I'm only he only shouldn't do it. I'm he shouldn't, do, and strange. to anybody else that's thinking about doing these kind of things, don't do it. So if you're a man, <laughs> don't do that. And if you're a woman and the guy does that, do not go on a date with this man. Oh no, what I would say, I would tell her to play the game a bit. Because yeah. I'm a bit mixed up a bit, you know what I mean? I'll tell her to play the game a bit. <laughs> now, my whole point is, when I mean play the game, I would have to ask him, ask him why? You want to buy some laundry? Make him buy the laundry. Make him buy it, make him keep it and just never see him. I swear to God. Don't, don't do that. Huh? Yeah, what do you mean? No, yeah, I'm about so free I gifts. <laughs> I'm about free gifts. But you know what? Funny that because I no, said because you, you can't just give out your address like that and then. That's true. True. Yeah. That's true. To, it's true. Yeah, it's true. You have to go to one of them Amazon drop boxes. Yeah, the lockers. The, yeah. lock, the locker box yeah. and go and do it there. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It's funny, but it's fu- my friend called me up the other just before we finish. My friend called me up the other day. All of a sudden, everyone's asking me for advice. She's called me up the other day. She's gone. Oh, I met a guy. It's okay. He said he knows you. I said, all right, cool. What's his name? She said the name. I didn't know his name. I said, oh, nickname, described him, cool, boom, it's him. She goes, I oh, said he wants to take me out. I said, well, do you want to go out? She's gone, oh, I don't know. I said, where does he want to take you? He said, for food. I said, look, at the end of the day, if you're hungry, go. Mm-hmm. Like, worst case scenario, you don't find him attractive. You get a meal out of it. I said, he's not really weird like that. So you're, you're, you're safe, in it, at least. Mm. She's like, all right, cool. She's gone, on, she's gone on a date. They had food. She didn't really think it. You got fed. Sometimes you got to keep it moving, but that's risk and reward. Mm. The other thing with the, the underwear, but any of my female friends call me up and said, this guy I just met wants to buy me underwear. I'll tell you, get rid of him now. Because whatever happens after this, 
He expects something. You already, yeah. You've already he given him a green light, whether you think you have mm. or you haven't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sexualized. Straight yeah. off the bat. Like, come on, man. And I'm not even sitting there saying, when you see someone, like, I mean, let's not be silly. Guys will see a man that they really like and yeah. physical attraction makes you sexualize yeah. sometimes. You just don't open up your you mouth. Just don't say anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 I understand. Yeah. Something, yeah. yeah. If you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in your mouth. Keep it in your mouth, because I think we all, we all probably have thoughts daily that if we said them, <laughs> we'd get us cancelled in all types of different... Do you know all what I mean? Types. So sometimes yeah. you just keep your mouth shut and yeah. don't say nothing. Mm-hmm. The first thought that is coming to your head, do not make that the first thing that comes out of your mouth. It's still useful, like, yeah, just thinking about the women. Yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. But they're the same ones that you say morning, they say morning back. It's, a, it's all of, <laughs> yes, yeah, man, I see this girl this morning on the train. I smiled, she smiled back. <laughs> there was a vibe they're not telling you that the train is like this <laughs> so it's awkward if you catch eyes with somebody you might smirk the smirk is not a smile but I'm not telling you that they, there, was a, there, was a, there was a definite connection still <laughs> between the two of us on the bus or the train yeah them guys are weird there's just weird people in the world isn't it yeah stop just go back to <sighs> these kids I tell you these kids boy they're doomed you know they're doomed you know because you can't it's just long because everyone you hear things like this a lot of things songs and stuff and rappers say all sorts of wild stuff and people think that that's how you do it so the shock and awe I'm going to say something outlandish and she's going to be so impressed that she's going to bend to my will it's wild go on you've got nice teeth look at your gums you've got a lovely gum line what's up with you I never heard that I wouldn't I want to go back to the number one, yeah. right? Because there is that, you know, we were like, oh, why is it asking that question? It's because there is this understanding or this conditioning where if you're in your mid forties, there's a there's a desperation that's going to come by now because you're only you're only woman, you're in your mid forties, mm. so you don't have much options. What do I do? That's why I feel that she wanted to ask that question. Should I go back to this guy who might be all right? He's not the best, but. Can do am I am I too old to be fussy? I think is what the question I was. You can, I think you can afford to be fussy if you've been with somebody for how long and and you don't you know they're not for you. Otherwise, you would have still been with them. We always you know in your lifetime think about how many people you maybe had relationships with when you were younger. I don't know how old you are. I'm not going to ask, but yeah. you, we live in London. A lot of the time, people will duck the cars spin the block regular. Like you will always bump into somebody you've had something with that didn't work out in your lifetime as long as you live in the same place you live in. But yeah. just because you're old, ah, uh, doesn't necessarily mean that every time someone spins a block that you let go for a reason that you should give another chance to. Yeah, I love you, that. The worst you, you want to be wasting time past 40. Do you know, do you know, do you know how quick a year feels? How old are you? 39. Oh, and so you're not there yet. So you see, do you know how quick a year feels now? You blink and a year's gone. The, the, the dynamic of time doesn't change. But your perception of it, because you've been in it for so long, I feel like, does. Yeah. So but I think at any age, you just need to be... I don't think that we, we as people, human beings, man or woman, this idea that, well, uh, I'm of a certain age, or because of this in my life... Now I need to settle, or now I need to do things, have things. Yeah, yeah. yeah make make a choice for myself. That actually, I don't really want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, maybe, and that's sad. That's I'm, really sad. Yeah. I, I love that you're saying that. I'd rather be on my own than be unhappy with somebody. Yeah, I'd be on my own. I'd be unhappy on my own. It's better that than have to share a space with somebody that I don't like because I feel like I should have someone because of the age I'm at. Nah, are you mad? Later, nah, nah, man. You, should, you can go on holiday. Still, get a groove back and go on tour. So, yeah. So Dion's gonna do her magic with the graphics and put the link here for you to DM her your your queries and your not queries your dilemmas for me to answer. This might be a regular segment. Actually, we might see how this goes. Still, this has been fun. I'm gone. Bye. <laughs>